is evil lurking in the shadows of this world, in the form of beings called Crimson Denizens. They've come from an adjacent world, the Crimson Realm, to collect precious power of existence from the humans. They slip into day-to-day -day life, then they slowly begin to devour that life. However, none of the humans ever seem to notice what's happening. Next up, Sakai. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Father came back from Tokyo and told us about the sights. Oh, hey, Sakai, what's up? Hey, EK, what's up? I thought you had to stay after for cleaning duty. Nah, I got someone to cover for me. I have a mock exam at cram school today. Jeez, man. You're already prepping for college? Yeah, I've got to do what I can to keep my parents happy. Otherwise, my allowance ends up suffering. So, what are you up to? Mm. I don't have any plans, so I guess I'll go down to the station and check out the new CD releases. Mm. Have fun. So, Sakai is the guy you're crushing on, right, Kazumi? <sighs> How did you know that? We've been friends forever. I can totally tell you like him. No, I, I mean, I, I just, um, it's... You don't have to hide it from me. You know, if you really are interested in Sakai, then we might be able to help each other out. Huh? I don't understand. How so? Come on, Kazumi. This is your chance. <sighs> I guess I can't depend on her to be much help. I'll just have to work it out on my own. I got this! <gasps> ah. Hello. So, what's up? Hey, where's E.K. anyway? Why isn't he with you? Oh, uh, he had to go to cram school for some kind of mock exam. Why'd you ask? No reason. It's just you guys are always together. It's not like we're attached at the hip or anything. I know this is out of the blue, but I was wondering if you knew whether or not E.K. has a steady girlfriend. Uh, well, no, I don't think that he does. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta go by the station, so I guess I'll see you later. Cool. See you later! I get it. She's got a crush on E.K. Careful, kid! <laughs> what the? What's going on? Whoa, everyone's frozen. Okay, the preparations are complete. There aren't many humans here, but I suppose it'll be enough to suffice. Time to dig in. Your mouth full. Mind your manners, 
mission, maybe. special. We haven't brought the master any souvenirs in a while. This one should make him happy. What do you think, Alastor? Mm, I don't think they're Crimson Denizens. It appears they're just Rene. That pendant just talked. Looks like that body was nothing more than a shell. It must have escaped at the last second. Well, it's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> That's a Mistus, isn't it? Yes. And it seems to be a unique one at that. Who are you? What are you doing? <laughs> she hit me. I've been cut! You must be the flaming-haired and blazing-eyed hunter. You are the flame haze who's contacted to Alastor, the flame of heaven. Yeah, that's me. What are you gonna do about it? My master will be livid when he finds out you've ruined our plans. I'm not too worried. He's going to be taking his last breath very soon. Damn you. But first things first, you'll breathe your last breath before I go for his. <laughs> Look, that must be its true form! Behind you! I shouldn't have let it get away. Judging from the way those Rainy were talking, there's someone powerful behind this. There's only one way to find out. We'll have to hunt down the Crimson Lord. But before we do that... Please help me. It hurts. Can you call an ambulance for me? Shut up, shut up, shut up, you big crybaby! Would you quit your whining and get over it already? You're so cruel. Be careful. You don't want to see her when she's angry. Look, if you were human, you would have already died from that wound. If I was human? No, I've got to hurry up and try to stop all the bleeding. Please help me. I'm not bleeding. What is this? Is this some kind of dream? <sighs> ah! I'm on fire! Get it off! What the hell's going on? It's time to rebuild. Ha <laughs> 
He lied! She's come back. Oh, thank goodness. That should just about do it for the torches. I'll use a couple of them to rebuild the city. That's fine. I still can't believe how much those Rene ate. I guess their master must require a lot of power of existence. Okay, all done. No one even noticed what happened. How's that possible? Huh. Wait up, Hirai. I'll walk you home. Huh. What is that? It looks like a flame. Hirai. Where'd he go? No way. Hey, hold on a minute. You want to tell me what that was all about? That little boy just disappeared into thin air, and I could see this blue flame burning. Would you just <laughs> shut up already? Alistor, how do you think I should dispose of it? You can't be serious. We mustn't destroy Amistus. That would be careless. I know that's normally the case, but this one's a major pain. Why don't you just tell it the truth? That should be enough to shut it up. Why do you keep talking about me like I'm some kind of object or thing? That's because you are no longer a human being. You are a thing. <laughs> the creatures I fought back there are called Rene. They're basically the lackeys of Crimson Denizens. They come to this world to collect power of existence, a type of energy. They do it by eating humans. Once a human is eaten by a Rene, their life is terminated. They simply cease to exist. That's right. And if too many humans disappear all at once, it throws off the world's balance, so we place torches to fill the void. What's a torch? The remnants of the person who's been killed. Like you, you're a torch. The real you was killed, so now all that's left are the remnants of your existence. <sighs> that's... impossible. Just look for yourself. You can see your own flame, can't you? You're not the only one. Anybody who has that blue flame is a torch, just like you. They're placeholders for the people whose existence has been eaten by Rene. Since they're only temporary replacements, their flame will start to dim, and then when it burns out completely, they'll disappear. What? They will leave this world. And that's my explanation. What does that mean? I'm already dead? Hey, wait! Why do you insist on following me? I'm not following you. I live on this side of the bridge. Right. I can't believe I'm dead. Yuji Sakai is no longer alive, and I'm just the shell that's left. Damn it, I just can't wrap my head around it. Can I ask you something? Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up! I've answered enough questions. Are you a human being? Tell me. No, I'm not. I'm a flame haze. A f what? I am a flame haze. I hunt crimson denizens who've killed humans to consume their power of existence, okay? She replaces those killed with a torch so the world remains in balance. Without flame hazes, crimson denizens would run rampant, killing even more humans than they do now. So you're a flame haze. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Master. I never meant to cause you to lose one of your favorite Rene. There's no need for you to apologize, Marianne. It wasn't your fault. The two of you were up against a particularly strong flame haze. I should thank you for finding Amistus for me. That's a fantastic prize you found, my dear. And 
I didn't bring it back. I let it get away. If you'll give me another chance, I'll hunt down that Mistis for you, Master. Well, while I have no doubt that you would, it isn't necessary. We mustn't rush ourselves into this. We must think it through and act carefully, my dear. We can't afford to be reckless when dealing with the flame of Heaven's Flame Haze. Yes, Master. Marianne, look at the crystal altar. Isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely breathtaking. Let's enjoy this moment. We should cherish our time together and not worry about that silly flame haze. Yuji, your breakfast is ready. I'll be down in a sec. I was starting to get worried. It's not like you to sleep in. And yesterday you went straight to bed as soon as you got home from school. Is there something wrong? No, I just had a rough day. You're looking at a close-up of the Gobi Desert in the middle of a sandstorm. Let's see if we can get a close-up. Oh, wow, the Gobi Desert. That's where your father is right now. Wouldn't it be funny if we saw him on TV? Yeah. Well, Mom seems to be fine. I was worried she might be a torch, too. I wonder how she and Dad would feel if they found out that I'm really dead. I guess it would feel like they never had a child. It's better that they forget I ever existed. Then they won't end up being hurt. It's still so hard to believe that I'm not alive anymore. I'm not even the real Yuji Sakai. Yuji? Are you sure everything's okay? Yeah, everything's just fine, Mom. I'd better go. My homeroom teacher's gonna write me up if I'm late. Thanks for breakfast. I'll see you tonight. Have a good day. I feel bad lying to her, but if I told her the truth, she'd be upset. If I'm just a placeholder for the real Yuji Sakai, then why do I have to deal with all these emotions? I don't get it. What are you doing here? The Crimson Denizens are going to come looking for you. I figured I should probably keep an eye on you in the meantime. Sorry, pal. That's what happens when you're a unique torch. Don't worry, I'll watch out for you. Thanks. I remember that Rene thing called me a Mistess yesterday. What's that mean? Impressive. You have quite a memory. Okay, how do I put this? A Mistis is a special kind of torch, one that carries a treasure tool within it that was created by a crimson denizen. Do what? You heard me. Whenever a Mistis' flame burns out, that treasure tool is transferred to a new torch, creating a new Mistis. Uh, the best way to describe it is it's like a moving treasure chest. But why is it in me? How the heck should I know? Like I said, the treasures move from torch to torch. The enemy will likely come looking for you before your flame burns out so they can reclaim it. Before my flame burns out. Hey, how can you be so sure that I'm dead? You're a torch and a mistis. But I still have the same thoughts and emotions that I did when I was alive. Because you're as remnants that were left behind. That makes sense. This city is strange. I've never seen so many torches in one place. Mm. It is rather odd, isn't it? Why does that matter? Hit I! Her flame. It's so weak. Yeah, it doesn't really have much time left. But why? She was just attacked yesterday. Those Rini were on a rampage yesterday. Looks like they must have eaten most of her power of existence. Hit I! Hey, Hit I! Good morning. Hey, do you mind if I walk with you? I don't mind. What's happened to her? She's so different now. It probably won't even make it through the day. It's not right! Isn't there anything we can do? Afraid not. That's all that's left of her. You know she's dead, right? It can't be. She can't disappear. 
Hurry up, Hirai. You don't want to be late. What do you say we run for it, huh? Come on. What's its deal? It's worried about its friend, but never thought to try and save itself. Finding yourself in someone else's shoes can sometimes change your perspective. Hm. Hidai can't disappear. I won't let that happen. Do you know if E.K. has a steady girlfriend? Ah, Mr. Sakai. I've warned you about your tardiness, right? I'm sorry, sir. Another tardy for Sakai. Um, sir, what about Hirai? Oh, thank you. I didn't see her come in. Go ahead and take your seat, you two. You better watch out, it'll give you detention. Yeah. No one's even looking at Hirai. It's like she's not here. Time for lunch. Care to join? Uh, I guess so. What do you say? Can't you join us? Yeah, I guess so. Cool. Hey, guess what? Remember that crazy teacher at my cram school I told you about? Turns out he's Murata's older brother. <laughs> That's weird. Do you have to go again after school today? No, I've got the evening off. Okay, then how about when we get out of school, we head into town and hang out for a while. And I could tag along with us. Come on, you think you're up for it? Uh, sure. Well, this should be fun. See, I told you you'd want to come along. Move in a little closer, E.K. Say cheese. That looks pretty good, huh? I guess I'm kind of in the way. I'm sorry about that, did I? Dude, you're being weird. What do you guys want to do next? Try to win a stuffed animal? Oh, why don't you play a fighting game against each other? Hey, E.K., can you entertain Hidai? I've got to take care of something. Wait a sec. Sakai! around so much I can't keep up and just for the record no matter how much you sympathize with it it's just a torch you can't stop it from disappearing I know but I'm just trying to keep everyone from forgetting about her it won't work I have to try <laughs> She was just here with you a second ago. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I know for a fact. She didn't already disappear, did she? No way, now I remember her. I guess she must have left already. Are you sure? Did she say anything to you? Don't think so. Hey, did I just beat the whole game? <laughs> I don't care if you beat the stupid game, E.K. Would you listen to me? Did she say where she was going? The three of us were here, hanging out together. And I was with us. Do you remember? Do you know whether or not E.K. has a steady girlfriend? What's up? You've been really high-strung lately. What's going on with you? I shouldn't be mad at him. This is what happens to a torch. People forget. He's been acting so weird. <laughs> Please, and I don't disappear just yet. I'm on my way. Wait for me. Stupid torch. I thought I told it to stay in one place. Here you are. I've been looking for you. E.K. said sorry. He had to go, but he had stuff to take care of. Hey, look. If you just cut me out, you'll have a nice picture of the two of you. Wait, what did you say? I've always liked the view here. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is. I see why you wanted to come here.
Did I? What do you say we bring E.K. here with us tomorrow? That way you can spend some more time with him. So you can't disappear before then, okay? <sighs> understand now that's the fate of a torch there's no way to stop it from happening what's left of their flame will inevitably burn out and nobody will remember that they ever existed they disappear without a trace you're wrong you're wrong because I will remember her. I know she existed and that she had a crush on E.K. Her name was Yukari Hedai, and I will never forget her. I swear. I know she existed. And so what? I know that I exist too, whether you recognize it or not. I know that I am Yuji Sakai. No, you're nothing but a torch. But deep down, I'm still Yuji Sakai. I exist, and so do you. I'm nothing more than a flame haze. That is all. In a way, I'm similar to a torch. There has to be more to you than just being a flame haze. No, I'm afraid there's not, because you are just a torch. And I am just a flame haze, okay? That's not true. It is, so deal. It can't be. What? What's your name? <laughs> Would you please tell me your name? I don't have a name, okay? Because I am just a flame haze. You've got to have a name. Would you just shut up, shut up, shut up! I don't need a stupid name! If I need to be distinguished from other flame haze for some reason, then they just call me the one with Niatono no Shana. Niatono no Shana? That is the name of the sword she carries. Niatono no Shana. Okay, then your name is going to be Shana. I'll call you that from now on. Your name is now Shana, so you're not just a flame haze anymore. And I'm not just a torch either. I'm Yuji Sakai. <laughs> you can't just give me a name like that. take those cookies to Sakai tomorrow, but I hope he doesn't think I'm too forward and freak out. I'll ask Yukari what she thinks I should do. Hey, wait up! Sakai, what's up? You look weird, dude. E.K., who's that? Jeez, dude, what is with you? That's it, I. That's it, I. You sure about that? Hey, E.K., I need the answers to last night's homework. Be right there. You know, I'm starting to get really worried about you, man. Want to tell me what you're doing here? I already told you. I have to keep a close eye on you. But you didn't have to follow me to school. And why are you sitting in head eye seat anyway? Because I am Yukari Hirai. I've taken over her existence, therefore I am her now. Wait, what do you mean? How do you even do that? I caught a remnant of her as she was disappearing. But you don't even look like her. Hi, Yukari. Good morning. Oh, hey, Sakai. I hope you have a good morning, too. Uh, same to you. <sighs> I did it. 
That's crazy. Yoshida was always close friends with Hidai, and she didn't notice. Taking over someone's existence doesn't mean I'm trying to be that person. In fact, it's the opposite. I've actually changed the perspective of others so that when they think of Yukari Hidai, they see me. How could you? You're a lifesaver, Hidai. Thanks again for letting me borrow your notes. Yep. <laughs> this isn't right. I know who the real Yukari Hidai is, and it's not her. Good morning. Shauna. It appears the Flame Haze is keeping a close watch on that Mistas. Yes. She must suspect that we'll come back for it. And her suspicion would be correct. It's only a matter of time. I guess we should make an appearance. I wouldn't want to disappoint the Flame Haze. And I am determined to get my hands on the treasure tool within that, Mistas. Please, won't you let me take care of this for you, Master? I want to make up for failing you last time. If you insist. Be careful. You mustn't underestimate the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter. Here, take this with you. Remember not to wander too far away from me. I can do whatever I want. Hey, Yukari. So would you like to walk home together today? There's something I wanted to ask you. I can't. I've got other plans. Okay, I understand. I'll leave you alone. Yukari must be in a bad mood. She's never snapped at me like that before. Be nice, would you? Sakai, would you run over to the library with me? I need help carrying some books. Sure. They're back. How do they make everything freeze like this? They're using a seal. But they can't do that inside the school, can the they? The location makes no difference. All that matters is you're here. I knew this was going to happen. You can't fight here. Someone might get hurt. I'm afraid we don't have much of a choice. I have to fight them. I don't want my friends to get dragged into this. I've got to keep them safe. All of this is my fault. Sorry about this. EK! Yoshida, no! Yoshida! Yoshida! You're the same Rene I fought against the other day. What is your master's name? You don't honestly think I would ever tell you? No, I figured that you weren't gonna tell me. But I gotta say, he must be a real idiot since he keeps using the same silly tactics over and over again. I mean, come on. Damn you. How do you do, young lady? I was wondering when we'd finally meet face to face. He must be one of those Crimson Denison Shauna was talking about. I'm impressed. I'm surprised you were able to defeat my favorite treasure tool. Regular Sharp usually poses quite a challenge. I'm sorry you had to intervene, Master. I should be the one apologizing to you, my dear. I shouldn't have given you a treasure tool you've never used before. Flame Haze was so rough with you. 
She's a brute, isn't she? So you're that Rene's master. I am. I'm Friagne the Hunter, and I'm Marianne's master. It's a pleasure to meet you in person, Alistair the Flame of the Heavens. Don't be fooled by his appearance. Friagne is incredibly dangerous. He has killed countless flame haze with his many treasure tools. He's an extremely powerful Crimson Lord. Got it. I'm surprised with your choice of contractor, the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter. I've heard rumor of your strength, but I have to admit I'm disappointed. What did you say to me? It's a shame, Alistair. All of your powers are going to waste. You never should have entered a contract with a pathetic little girl who can't control the power you've given her. Just give me five minutes and I'll show you what I can do. <laughs> I would love to, but I don't think this is the right time for battle, little one. Besides, I can't chance harming the Meesters. But I'll be back. After all, this is my hunting ground. I can't wait to see what's inside of that Meesters. But I'll find out. Soon enough. We must be cautious. He is no ordinary Crimson Denizen. Friagne is a lord of the Crimson Realm and known to be a collector of treasure tools. I'm not surprised he's after the Mistus. He mentioned that this is his hunting ground. He must be the reason there are so many torches in this city. Yes. I would venture to guess that it's all part of his plan. That guy is insane. I need to rebuild everything before I leave the seal. So move out of the way, I need to use that girl. Use her for what? I'm going to use what's left of her power of existence to rebuild everything damaged in the battle. But that would kill her. I mean, wouldn't it? Well, yes, but she's near death anyway, and since there aren't any torches around, I've no choice but to use the half-dead girl. What's left of her power of existence should be enough to fix everything. If you're that worried about her, I can save enough to make a torch. I won't let you! I don't want Yoshida to go through what I'm dealing with! Sorry, but it can't be helped. I need power of existence to fix everything back to how it was. I could always just use somebody else. What about that guy? I can't decide. Well, if you want, I could just use you. Let's do that. Seriously? You threw a fit when I tried to use one of them and then you make a decision that quickly? It's the right thing to do. So you're gonna throw away the little bit of time you have left? I'm not throwing it away. I'm using it. It's so weird. No, it's awkward. No, it's annoying. That torch is so annoying. You used a lot of his existence without hesitation. What was I supposed to do? It told me to use its own power, so that's what I did. I left it enough to have a little more time. I thought I might find you up here. What, I'm not allowed? No, I didn't say that. How did you know where to find us? It's hard to explain. I kind of felt you guys up here. I see. It makes sense that after such an intense battle, you would start to sense our presence. So what do you want? Uh, nothing. I just wanted to come check on you. It's weird knowing a girl is sitting on my roof in the rain. You should come inside. Do what? Well, this can't be comfortable. Besides, if you want to keep an eye on me, I would think you'd probably want to stay close, right? Good point. Thought never crossed your mind. It's not a brilliant idea. There was no need to brag. What are you talking about? I wasn't bragging. Take me inside. Uh, okay, sure. Follow me. You can go ahead and sleep in my bed. I'll go sleep in my dad's study. I came inside so I can keep watch over you, and now you want to sleep in a different room? Uh, well, yeah. You're the one who thought up this idea. You'll sleep here. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? I'm getting undressed. Isn't that obvious? Yeah, but... It's just... I should leave. Why are you embarrassed all of a sudden? It's just a torch. Why do you care? Go find a place to hide. Uh, yeah, of course. Hurry up! Quit rushing me! Do you need pajamas? No peeking! I wasn't peeking, all right? I was just asking if you needed to borrow some pajamas. I don't need any. I can just sleep in my underwear. Alastor uses his flame to purify me, so bathing and changing aren't really necessary. Huh. So, do you really think that hunter who attacked us at school is the one who's created all the torches in this city? I'm positive it's him. 
Never seen a denizen consume so much power of existence in one city. Although torches are used to maintain the world's balance, it is also possible to throw off that balance if there are too many torches. But for all we know, that could be exactly what Friagne is hoping to do. What good would that do him? The more torches there are in a city, the higher the likelihood that a valuable mistus like you will show up, which in turn lures out flame haze. This city is indeed his hunting ground. True. But he's acting pretty careless because he has no way of being able to know which flame haze is going to show up. Exactly. His plan is not without fault, although he is a very powerful lord of the Crimson Realm. But I wonder what's giving him this false sense of confidence. I guess I'll find out when I face off with him again. Well, since there's no school tomorrow, maybe you should try to lure him outside of the city limits. I would hate to see more innocent people get involved. Good idea. But that means you're gonna have to come along with us since, well, you know, you are the bait. Yeah, I know. I'll go with you. That sucked! Ugh! I should have punched him another ten times! I don't understand why you're so upset. It's just a torch. You don't get it! It's no different than being nude in front of a rock or a forest of trees. Why are you so embarrassed? You never cared before. It just made me uncomfortable, okay? That torch is like a human to you. And you haven't interacted with a human being in a long time, is that I it? I know that it isn't a human, and it's gonna disappear like every other torch. Hmm. No one will ever be able to figure out our plan, Mary. Even that pesky flame of heaven. That may be so, Master. But I'm worried about the flame haze that have come to this city lately. Please be careful. Please. Don't you worry, my dear. Everything is going according to plan. All we need is a little more power of existence and we can proceed. I won't allow them to hinder our plans. Torches light up the city ever so brightly. Once we are victorious, our lives will change for the better. You won't be just a Rene anymore, Marianne. You will become an existence that lives within this world. <laughs> You're so good to me. I can't thank you enough for all you've done for me, Master. I've just begun. My dear Marianne. It makes me sad. If I wasn't continually feeding you energy, you wouldn't have the power to last three days. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. I feel it too, my love. I would never want to be anywhere but by your side, Master. Oh, my sweet Marianne. Your precious words have touched my heart. We'll be together. I swear to you that I will make it happen, my love. That's why we came to this world. My sole purpose for seeking power of existence is for you. Everything I've done, it's all for you. Something's not right. There are too many torches. I've never seen so many. Guess the rumors we heard were true. This place really does stink. Yeah, it stinks all right. It smells of your who's late breath! <laughs> Shut your trap, stupid Marco. Oh, wow. 
You feel that? There must be another flame haze here. Oh, I felt it. You know, if someone else is already on the case, we should probably just drop it. <laughs> I don't remember reading that in the rule books. I figure whoever gets there first gets the kill. At least that's how it should work. <laughs> Damn straight! You tell him, little lady! Let's tear this city apart, my beloved goblet Marjorie Daw! Sounds like a plan. You feel that, Alastor? Yes. It's another flame haze. The crew has just passed the Yellow Band, which is about 28,000 feet above sea level. We've reached the part of Mount Everest that is considered the most difficult to climb. We are currently prepping to make our journey to the very top of the mountain. I can't do it. I'm too embarrassed to give those cookies to Sakai right now. Build up some courage, and then I'll be able to do it. Someday I'll be brave enough to tell him how I feel about him. Hurry! I'm coming! Just give me a second. You're the one who insisted we fight outside the city. <laughs> Did you notice his flame, Alastor? It's back to full blaze. Hmm. I think I figured out which treasure tool is inside that mistus. I'm having a hard time getting used to this. You know, seeing the torches. I feel like I'm invading their privacy, but it's hard to avoid looking at that pulsating flame. Pulsating? What do you mean by that? The flames inside of the torches. They're all pulsating like a heartbeat. The flame expands and contracts. Can't you see it? <laughs> no, I can't. Me either. It's just a steady blue what? flame. It's so clear, I don't know how you could miss it. You're really weird, you know? I've never met a Mistis like you. I bet you can see it because of that treasure tool inside of you. If it is what I think it is, it's an extremely powerful tool. However, there's no real way of knowing unless we open you up and have a look. It worries me that the torch's flames are pulsating. I've never heard of such a thing. Are they all doing it or just a few? All of them. Well, at least as far as I can see. A torch's flame isn't supposed to pulse like that. I can't help but wonder if it's happening to all of the torches in the city. What do you think it is? It must be some kind of trick. <laughs> An unrestricted spell! That was a sonar unrestricted spell. Hey, why did that person just disappear? In order to perform such a spell, someone would need a lot of power of existence. I'm assuming that the torch was used for that purpose. Seriously? But who would do such a thing? Do you think it's that bastard Friagne? No, it's not him. I suspect it's the flame haze we sensed last night. I guess they're not leaving after all. What? There's another flame haze here besides Would you Shauna? just shut up for one minute? It's probably because there are so many torches here. I'm actually surprised that more flame hazes haven't noticed. They must be trying to lure out the hunter. Matthew, 
Mark, Luke, and John. Cover all corners and find the ghost who disrupts our dreams! Torch is suddenly disappearing. It seems that they were somehow able to figure out my plans. I'm afraid we're going to have to hurry, Marianne. My patience is worn thin. These visits from various flame haze have been troublesome. I shall punish them. Damn it, I guess he didn't fall for it. Yeah, but I bet he's hot on our trail. Who knows? He could jump out screaming, You found me! and try to fight us. I don't think so, but it seems we've lured out something else. What do you think you're doing here? Now, now. What kind of introduction is that? Can't I at least get a hello? It's the claws and fangs of violation and the chanter of elegies. I should have known it was you two. Hey, hey, hey! How you doing, old Flame of Heaven? Let me guess, this is your Flame Haze, right? The flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter? Kinda scrawny looking. <laughs> Why have the two of you come here? Are you the one who did it? Answer me, lady! What? You're the one who did it, right? How could you? How could you destroy so many torches without any kind of remorse? Whoa. Who is this kid? Evidently, he's a torch as well. You took their existence without even giving them the chance to tie up any loose ends. They could have been trying to help somebody. You destroyed them. How could you do that? <laughs> I won't allow you to talk to me that way, kid. Maybe you should destroy that torch, too. It's really annoying. Don't do it. That torch is a mistis. You mustn't be reckless with it. Seriously? No wonder it got all bent out of shape. Damn it. I'm not trying to side with the mistis. However, I can't fathom destroying torches for no reason. A flame haze is supposed to maintain the world's balance, not disrupt it. What the hell are you blabbing about? I think it's more disruptive to just leave all the torches here. I mean, what kind of balance would that be? Yeah, it's more like the two of you are neglecting your duty. We are aware that there are an excessive number of torches here. But it appears that these torches are being used as part of a larger plan. What, like some kind of trick? Well, I guess it might be a trap set by the flame haze assassin. I'm sure you've heard the horrible news. It seems many of our kind have gone missing after visiting this place. <laughs> That's why we decided to come out here and check things out. I'm sure the others were lured here by the excessive number of torches. Yeah, we were pretty shocked when we got here. There's so many, it's ridiculous. Somebody's up to something. I've got a bad feeling. Alistor, do you feel it? I never expected to stumble upon this. I thought that Flame Haze didn't like working together. <laughs> it's Free Agne. Well, well. I had a feeling we might run into you. We're up against Free Agne the Hunter! <laughs> So, the chanter of elegies, and the claws and fangs of violation. Now I know where that crude, unrestricted spell came from. How could you destroy all the beautiful artwork I've created in this city? You've really pissed me off. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. We're just getting started. Let's do this! <laughs> this is it, Friagne! Your head! Be 
careful. He's dangerous. Too slow! It didn't work! How'd he avoid it? I'm wearing a flame-resistant ring. It's a treasure tool I acquired called Azure, which allows me to withstand any flame attack. <laughs> I can tell you're a collector. You're rambling on about some stupid ring we don't care about. Yeah, talk about a snooze fest. I'm sorry to hear you're not entertained. In that case... How about I step it up a notch? This one's called Bubble Loot, and it's one of the favorite treasure tools from my collection. There's no weapon in existence that can break free from its golden chains. I'm done playing your silly games, Priyagne! Damn it! I forgot that creep is a thing for playing with dolls! If I can't break free, then I'll destroy the source! Your dolls can't stop me! That bell... Get back! <laughs> Closer to that explosion, we'd have been goners for sure. That Mista sensed it. It anticipated the explosion from my dance party treasure tool. I wonder if it's because of the tool that's inside it. I should dispose of you for being a nuisance. <laughs> Isn't this interesting? The flame haze refuses to strike the Mistas. <laughs> I'll be taking your little friend with me. Come back here, coward! You still want to fight me? I'd be glad to give you another chance. If you want to see the Mistus again, then meet me at the highest point in the city tonight. We'll play this out on the grandest of stages. We let him get away. Why didn't you just slice through it? I couldn't do it. <laughs> These flame haze should be easy for us to defeat. Thanks to that Mistas. Once we have disposed of them, the rest should be a piece of cake, my love. You'll be reborn, and you will live, dear Marianne. You'll become an existence all your own. You won't have to rely on anyone else ever again. And finally, you and I will be able to be together. Oh, Master. So he wasn't just searching for treasure tools. He was collecting power of existence to bring his doll to life. Damn it, I feel so helpless just sitting here.
couldn't do it. How come? You've become attached. It's what happens when you interact with humans. But he's not human. Hey, come on! Don't go overboard! Why don't you try sipping the stuff? You're not gonna be able to fight if you're drunk! Well, I can't lure him out. He's not gonna fall for another sonar unrestricted spell. So I have no choice but to sit here and drink until we meet him at nightfall. Before we head into battle tonight, you should probably purify me, Marcosius. Damn it, Marjorie! I can't keep using the purifying flame to sober you up! <laughs> Huh? What have I gotten myself into? I'm not throwing it away. I'm using it. So how long do you plan to sit here feeling sorry for yourself? I'm having to waste precious time because of your screw-up. I should be the one who's upset. Yeah, and because of you, she's hammered! Oh! <laughs> Look, if you're not serious about this, then you don't have to come with us. I'm coming. Huh? I will fight. Okay. <laughs> there you go, kid! Those are the eyes of the blazing-eyed hunter! I can't wait for tonight! What do you think, Flame of Heaven? It's gonna be awesome! Spectacular, isn't it? I dare say the perfect stage for tonight's battle. All we have to do now is wait for the flame haze to show. <laughs> Take a good look, Mistis. This gun is called Trigger Hammer. It's a wonderful little treasure tool that is used to kill flame haze. A flame haze uses its body to contain a crimson lord. In the case of your friend, that lord would be Alastor, one also known as the Flame of Heaven. However, a crimson lord's power is hard to keep contained. For that reason, when they enter a contract, their existence is put into a kind of hibernation. But this gun, my precious trigger happy, is capable of liberating the Crimson Lord from its containment. The resulting outpour of power is absolutely explosive, and it kills the Lord's contractor instantaneously. In other words, the Flame Haze suffers a fiery death. Amazing, isn't it? Furthermore, the Freed Lord is so concerned about throwing off the world's balance, they return to the Crimson Realm. I've done this many times, that's why I've earned the nickname the Flame Haze Assassin. But for tonight, I chose a spot high enough that the Flame of Heaven won't affect the city below. Dear Marianne, tonight's performance is in your honor. Oh, thank you, Master. I don't get it. Why is he worried about affecting the city? Why would he care if the entire city was wiped out? We should get going. Are you ready to go on a rampage, Marcosius? Hell yeah, let's go!
can't shoot you! He's got Trigger happy? Damn it! So that's his trump card! You've got to be careful. I know. Silly little girl. I don't think you're strong enough to take me on. I thought Flame Haze weren't supposed to work together. Well, today is special! power of existence from torches all over the city. That's it! Free Agne the Hunter! Are you attempting a city devouring? You bastard! A city devouring?! There's nothing you can do about it now. But yes, I'm performing a spell that was cast by a powerful Crimson Lord long ago. It allows you to turn an entire city into pure power of existence. You won't be able to stop me. In fact, it's already begun. Sorry, you're too late. If he accomplishes the city devouring spell, everything will be destroyed. Palm and everyone else will die. Now that we know what his plans are, it's time to get serious! Come on, partner! Yeah, I know! But how are we gonna stop him? We're gonna have to find a way to kill Priyante! Hurry, we have to stop him or the whole world will fall apart! Right! every time that he rings it. So why? <laughs> now I get it. The attacks aren't triggered by the bell. He's using it to summon the city devouring. <laughs> I have to tell Shauna. I'm the only one who has it figured out. We can still stop it. We can save the city! It's up to me to let her know. All it 
takes is one shot from Trigger Happy, and they'll be out of my way. But these two are stronger than I expected. Please, my master. Let me take care of them. No, it's far too dangerous. Stay here with me. I have to protect you. If you were to be killed by those evil flame haze, then I would die along with you. However, if I died, you would live on. Let me do this. To show my love, I would gladly give my life for you, Friagne. But you were my reason for living. City devouring will be complete. But before that, you will die! You will pay for this! Shona! Seal! Everyone in it! Everything! Shona! He shot her! <laughs> what the? He's been let loose! The flame of heaven! This could be the end of us! Come on, we've gotta hurry up and get out of here! You gotta be kidding me! Pick up the face, Marco! That's Alistair's true form. I never thought I'd see the day that the Flame of Heaven would be summoned to this world. And all because the scrawny little thing was shot with Trigger Happy. Friane the Hunter, you are a pathetic fool. No. The Flame of Heaven. 
Despite your efforts, you have not destroyed the child. My flame haze is strong enough to allow me to manifest and still survive. She is a miraculous being. Do you doubt my wisdom as a Crimson Lord? I would never enter a contract with one who could not handle my power. This is the end. Flame of Retribution! So, do you think I'm gonna make it? Your flame is very close to burning out. I'm afraid it's nothing more than a flickering glow right now. Time's up. This feels so strange. I can't believe I'm actually disappearing. But you know what? I'm not sad about it. I accomplished something. I may just be a torch, but I was able to help save my city, even though no one will ever know about it. <laughs> Don't be such a worry wart. <laughs> You've done nothing but worry since the first day we met. You think so? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Shauna, mm -hmm. I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? The name I gave you. Promise me you'll continue to use it. going on I'm still here I didn't disappear how did this happen what's so funny you're so silly Yuji Sakai you have just witnessed the power of the treasure tool that lies within you it fully recovers your power of existence each day at midnight it's called the midnight lost child then that means yep you're not going to disappear. The treasure tool inside of you is very valuable, and soon denizens will come looking for it. So we'll continue to keep watch over you to make sure you remain safe. <laughs> that okay with you? Of course it is. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs>